What's up guys, it's Jukebox here 199 I haven't brought a video to you guys in almost a year it seems like. And uh, lately I've been playing a lot of R Factor, working on my toge skills with my wheel. This is Transfagorasin Road in Romania. It is in my opinion the greatest toge road or mod you can buy. Or not buy, but you can get for R Factor for free. So uh, yeah, I've been working on I've been working on this run for uh, for a while. Just driving this every day, almost every day probably. I don't know. But yeah, I'm driving this uh, PCMS 2009 uh, Porsche GT mod. Probably the best, one of the best car mods you can get in the game. Hall of Fame, you know. Hall of Fame mod. So like, <clears throat> I haven't played Forza in a while. So. I had Forza 5 for a while, and that was fun for a bit, but I didn't have many friends on Xbox to play with. And I've been playing a lot of Halo lately, and uh, FPS's and stuff, so like when the Xbox One comes out, Halo Master Chief Collection comes out, I'll be getting that probably. And buying another Xbox One as I sold mine, for uh, stupid reasons, and I wish I still had it, but I gotta buy another one. So yeah. And, uh... This by far, I just think it's the best toge mod. You have like endless hairpins, like real like, really like mid to long straightaways into these corners. It's just one of the best roads in the world and the mod is just a brilliant job on it. They've done amazing with this mod. Right there, I scraped the rail. Normally I've been hitting that turn perfect. For some reason I come to record a video today and I hit it. So. Make a couple of mistakes this run, and uh, I crash at the end of it, and I didn't get to do the full SS5 and SS6, but uh, I thought it was okay. I've been just trying to work on making every turn, maybe not as fast as I can for turns, just making every turn and being consistent on the road, on this road. It's not easy, this turn, this road is super challenging. There are a lot of other Japanese toge roads you can get for this game, like there's Akina, Ak Akina, and there's Akigi. And uh, Shimura Pass, a bunch of others like uh, there's one Kagawa one. Like there's two of them that look like they're in Kagawa and Har Harukawa or something. I don't know, that's it. But like they're all, those are all pretty cool. But I, I just think some of the European roads are better. There, well, there's this one is probably my favorite. And there's a new, there's not a new one, but there's a Pikes Peak version by Lamax. It's pretty popular in the mod community. Makes a really kind of short, but like, really good version of like classic pike speed with dirt and uh, pavement. Coming down here through another hairpin, revving it up in the second, third. I'm not trying to extend my gears perfectly. It's like when you come up to these hairpins, like, it's always a second to first. And I don't want to over rev it and like launch off the mountain, so I kind of like don't push it into the corners as hard as I could. I'm trying to be consistent and have like make every corner. Like, that's how I'm going to be able to further push my limits on this track. It's just like, just like staying consistent and trying, I'm trying to go right to left, you know, through the corners and just like take a good line and just kind of get my basics down before I can really go as fast as I want to. Without like with the confidence to know that I'm not just going to make a mistake by pushing it. I just, you know, upping my level of uh, like speed I carry into the corners. So yeah, I'm using a G27 wheel. I've had this wheel for a long time. Most of you guys know that I have a G27. Uh, I haven't been uh, super, well, I've been super busy, but I haven't been doing like that much real life driving because my car has been in the shop. I got into like three accidents in one month. Like the first one, I was going up to the mountains one night at like 10 o'clock late. I was like, oh, I want to go Tokyo driving. And it was kind of stupid ideas. I was going up to like near Jackson, California. Like this is like the, kind of the closest mountains to where I live. It's about 30 minutes away. I've talked about this in other videos, but so yeah, I'm on my way up there and I hit a deer, a really big deer. My whole front bumper is like totally jacked and like pulled out, and messed up. And then like the next day, I'm pulling into Wendy's and some chick comes slamming off the freeway, slams me in the right, right, you know, backside quarter panel the rear bumper and totally just destroys that part of the car and I just got my car back today it's been in the shop for like almost three weeks to a month and so glad to have my car back it's I mean it looks better than it did when I before I got in the accident like it's they did they did such a good uh, job their uh, their shops called SMA body shop and they did an amazing job and 
really cool people that my dad like knew. Really people he likes to go to, and he was right in going there. So here we're coming down to like uh, some probably the biggest straightaway on SS5. Kind of a curved straightaway. It's I missed or I missed shift it earlier. Just kind of slamming through here. Like you gotta you gotta downshift at the right point. Like I almost did it too late here. Like but I made it. I made a nice transition there. Get back on the gas as hard as I can to like the second gear corner. So these corners can be taken in third, but I'm just used to taking them in the second or first to get better launch. Like this car is really good. A lot of sometimes in the mods at R Factor, like the car mods, like they will be like they'll have good power, but like they'll have no like the rev limiter doesn't seem natural. Yeah, I almost messed that turn up. Rev limiter doesn't seem natural. Like the WRC Subaru mods like pretty fun, but like it's just these Porsche this Porsche mod is really good. He's like you can slide the car without it being a drift mod. Has a real kind of more of a real feel and to it than some of the other car mods I got. Like I'm not super into just driving like F1 prototype cars all the time. I'm looking for like street and GT cars. I mean, because like most games don't have that many good street cars besides like you know the Project E drift mod. I'm like here I'm just totally missing out. But yeah, I'm trying to kind of picking out my pace. This like section I kind of do like one-handed steering technique where I'm just working on my shifting and steering with the left hand. I don't know because I, I don't know I don't know why I just have to practice it because it's fun. I like I like it's better for this section than the section above. The section above has more like consecutive hairpins where you need like that, the full control, the rotation, and the counter steer when you're coming out of the hairpin. So yeah. So for my channel, like I want to make another channel just for like Halo content. I'm part of this Halo organization called Raw Power Gaming. And, like I'm kind of a competitive Halo player. I haven't been like super like. Uh, my passion for cars and racing is still there and it's still great, but it's like playing Forza every day, you know, it just got, it got old to me, like I was, you know, I had a pretty good, pretty good time in Forza 4 for a while, but now I just kind of moved on to PC Sims. I'm not giving up on Forza, like I'm definitely going to play Horizon 2 when it comes out for the 1, and <clears throat> that'll be pretty cool. I think it's, I, hopefully it'll be a good game, I'm not, you know, not for sure thinking it's going to be amazing, but I hope it is. But we'll see. I think it'll be a good game just to have on Xbox One. See, you know, there's quite a quite a community for Horizon One on Xbox. There's like people that tow you every day. I don't know. I've heard stuff and people are having fun with it, like Forza still, but I've kind of moved on to the PC arena, I guess. So, which is good. I just need to oh another big thing about this video is anybody that has like a wheel and a mic and uh R Factor and can download mods if you want to race me. Like I'm trying to get people to get like maybe fours of people or anybody who just plays R Factor that watches this just to come check out like come race with me because I have no one to race with. Like I race AI once in a while so I'm so bored. I like, just drive them by myself. I have a few friends that play simulators but they never want to do Toge with me, so like I'm looking for anybody that's cool that wants to just come and race and have a good time and try to get better at like some of these mods, these, these awesome roads they have in this game. I ran a 7.32, that's SS5, it's not really that fast, but it's average, and I kind of messed up a couple times. I just wanted to get a run on this road out to you guys, because I don't, I don't really want to showcase my driving skills on this road. This road is beautiful, and one of the most perfect toge mods, or roads you can drive in any game, so. And it's pretty cool, as the guys are coming out with a version for Seto, of course, so. It'll be really interesting how they convert it, and hopefully it'll be, they'll do a good job, and it'll be amazing. It'll be fun to play it on that game with like super good graphics and stuff. So can't wait for that. Yeah, this is like even after this, this section, like the beginning of SS6 is pretty easy. Not easy, but it's just like more flowy and less like super like, slow speed section turns. So yeah. So it's not bad, but then when you get down lower to it, like it gets really like good hairpins and stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna upload some more runs of this when I have time to do them. And uh, yeah, please thank, rate, comment, subscribe. And this will be a non-monetized uh, video with some good music on it that you're hearing, just so I can like get more views and build up my channel again. Thanks for watching. Bye.